Hey everyone, this is the Crew Dog. Today, okay, I want to show you another series of uh, phones that I have, and I know that a lot of you like these things. This one I saw online and uh, was interested in it, so I went and picked it up. Uh, I saw this one on eBay, and uh, this one I bought for $19.99. That includes shipping. This is the LG 305C. It's a newer type phone. So what you get okay in the packaging, and I, I threw the packaging away, uh, unfortunately. But anyway, you get the phone, backing plate, battery. You even get a 4 gigabyte micro SD card, and it's already installed in the phone. You get a wall charger and a USB cable. These can separate so you can hook them up separately plug it into your computer and you can do some downloading too uh, the red little card this is the activation card to get from my uh, track phone and the services guide or kind of like an owner's manual and that's what you get so let me go ahead and show you how this thing goes together and what all is involved in it and when you get the uh, phone okay you might ask, well, where's the micro SD card? Because it is advertised as one comes in it. Well, it's already installed. I've taken this one out, but you can see right over here on the side. And when the, when the battery's out, you can see right here is where it goes into. It's a little slot. And that just pushes in. Now, the little brass things go down just goes in and just pushes all the way in this one's kinda goobered up there we go yeah this one's goobered up Okay. so when you do get the phone as I mentioned okay that card it's already installed now this phone okay you can tell when the phone was, was manufactured right here you'll see 05 2014 that's May of 2014 that's when this phone was actually produced so these are relatively new phones a lot of the track phones you might see you know they might be you know two or three or four years old but this one's surprisingly it's it's it's, it's new okay here's your battery and you can see on the battery here you have your contacts that little white spot there is a water, uh, like a, if you have water damage, that'll change different colors. You've also got on the inside of the phone casing itself, you've got three pickups here, and you've got another little white spot there. Same thing. It indicates water damage. So if you take it in for a warranty, whatever, they're going to say, no, you dropped it somewhere in the water, so it's not any good. You take your battery and just put it in there where those line up and it just snaps in place okay. now we're going to take our backing plate and you want to have it to where you have your two megapixel camera that's the pickup and of course you have the orifice to where it goes over that so you just want to line them up it just goes over top and presses down now as I mentioned okay this phone is a little bit messed up so it's not gonna work that well yeah this the switch on this one here is uh, okay. there we go you hear that snap so you know, you know it's good All right, I'm gonna turn this off and I'll show you how you turn it on Okay. on the right side and you can see it better on this phone the little button right there okay that's the button that you have to turn the phone on and off you also use that to lock the phone once it's on what's on on the other side you've got your rocker for volume up and down and then on top if you have a speaker uh, headphones like that you can plug it in there 
Okay, let's go ahead and turn the power on by pushing that button in. Hold it for about two seconds. Power comes on. Now, this phone, when you first initialize it up, it's going to talk to you. Don't be surprised. Let it power up here. In the meantime, okay, uh, I bought this one, as I mentioned, off of eBay. I uh, paid $19.99 for it, and I got it within uh, within two business days. I, it was shipped to me at really quick, very quick shipping. Okay. Ah, it didn't talk. Okay. A lot of you say that I say okay a lot. Well, I, I do that. Uh, I was in the military for 20, 24 years. I was an instructor for a bit here too, and it's just a habit I've got. Okay, we're going to go to notice on top here. I'll show you these things. The little white indicator here, you've got five home screens. That's right, I said five. Okay, there's the first one, and it's empty, nothing in there. You can put anything that you want in there. Let me put it back to here again. The little delta, the triangle right there, you press that. This is not a capacitive. You can use your finger, but I'm using a, a capacitive uh, stylus. There we go. Notice when you hit that, okay, you open up shortcuts here for contacts, widgets, and shortcuts. I'm going to go for the widgets. And what those are is down here, you've got all these different icons down here that you can use. You've got notes like sticky pads. Uh, this is like for a combination of sticky pads and you know, emails. You've got email in, email out. you got your music. You have a clock. This is a digital clock and you got the analog clock whichever one you want to use once you get that on there you can just press the delta key and that locks it in place now now you can use this one here and also on that digital clock to set your alarm just by pressing on it and you see how it comes up and then you just up on top, just tap on that till it turns blue. And when you hit the save, notice up on top the little alarm clock. So you know that your alarm clock is set. You turn it off, just tap on that again till that blue goes away. Hit save. The alarm clock goes away. So that alarm clock is now done. Okay. And we're going to go to the second one. There's nothing there. You can put anything you want in there. The third one, it comes in in the middle. It comes with your prepaid. And it gives you your airtime. You want to buy airtime, your phone number, your airtime info, and your airtime display. Now, you can elect, if you want to, on the home screen, to have that showing, or you can turn it off. If you don't want to have it showing, it's up to you. Serial number, find that really easily. And then you have your code entry mode. Come on, there we go. All right. Now I'm going to go into somewhere else here, and this hit the little uh, like dice. Now you're into your menu. This is page one, page two. Page three. I'm going to be setting. So I'm going to put that onto the. Well, I'll hit it right now. Menu readout turns on dial readout and changes caller ID readout. Menu readout on. See? Now you've got a menu readout. So you can use Home this. Home screen three to five. See, and as you go through everything, it tells you where you're at. Home screen, 5 of 5. And if you go into here, 
Main menu, one of three. See? Now you're on page two. Main menu, two of three. And if you have any emails, text messages, or anything like that as you go in through there, it'll read them to you. You can put notes in there. Notepad. You can add a little note. note there. Up on top, the little on the right top Options. here, hit keyboard. Keyboard. And you can just type something in there if you want to. A. E. O. Let's see, I'm just undoing this. W. I gotta spell it right. Clear. Yeah, I know. Oh, you dot. Okay, then we're going to save that. Note saved. Notepad. Now, if you open that one up now, this is the same as an email, anything that you get. Open it up. Hello, how are you? Saturday, it, September 20th, 10.42 a.m. It reads it to you. Now you home can, screen, 5 of 5. Now, we're going to go into the widget here again. Edit, home screen. And we're going to go into shortcuts. Add shortcut. And we're going to look for that same one, which is accessibility. We got past it. There we go. Right there, and just tap it. Added. Okay. Home oh. screen five of five. Now that's on your home screen now. On one of them, it's a shortcut now. Accessibility. Menu readout off. You can turn that off if you want to. So that's how you can turn it off. You can turn it on. There are so many things you can do with this phone. Uh, it can take it, it can take up to a day, eight hours to explain everything on this phone. I'm just going to go over, you know, just the basics so you can see what all is on this phone, how you can do things. You make your phone call, you can make a, a voice dial. So if you have anything saved in your contact list, it'll ask you to say the person's name or the business name, and it'll bring it up, it'll dial it for you. It'll bring up all your recent calls. It'll bring up all your contacts. And then while you're talking, It'll bring up down on the bottom here more icons. You can turn the speakerphone on, speakerphone off. Uh, it's fairly easy to use. Okay, so we're going to turn this off again here. Uh, this is your text messages. Uh, make a new text message. Uh, media message is MMS. That's where you can make a video message. And on this one here, you can go to your first page. Notice you got a camera and you got your video recorder. Now, while you got your camera going, on the upper right, you can just tap that camera and it changes it into a you know regular camera. And if you want to take a video, just tap the video, and now you got your movie camera. So, right through there. Put it back through here again. Over here on the bottom left is how you get into change your resolution, your shutter speed, or sorry, shutter sound. You can go all through this in all your different options you got in there. Okay. The save option, it comes uh, defaulted to the internal. You need to change that to external to the S micro SD card. Okay. And then that way you're, you're good to go. Manage the memory. See. Oops, that's good. See, now everything here is set. Images are set to go onto the card. We're going to go into videos here, and we're going to change that now into the card memory. That way, you can download it. And by downloading, I mean you can hook up the USB cable to your computer, and you can download it to your computer. You can watch it. If you have it on the internal phone, you cannot access that with the USB cable. It won't let you do it. So you have to have that. The same thing goes for music MP3s. That'll be on page 
where did it go? Yeah, I'm sorry, right up on top here. Your music player, if you have any MP3s in there, you just hit whichever one you want. I don't have anything on this one yet. Now, the videos right here, this is the player, okay, or that'll show that. I'm sorry, the player, okay, is where you would set up if you want to have, uh, you get in there, you can change it to, to equalizer, on, equalizer, off, different settings, uh, repeat, shuffle, all that is through that one there. The best thing to do is when you first get this phone, I really, really recommend read that book. Because if you're like most people, you just put it together and start using it, you're gonna you're not gonna know the full capability of this phone. Uh, the old phones, the like the LG eight hundred and the different phones that I've shown before, they're limited on what they can do. This one here, I mean it's not an Android, but Everything on this phone, like all your accessories, is about the same as an Android phone. This phone, okay, is based upon, from LG, is based upon a Verizon. That's who this one's serviced by because it's a CDMA phone. A Verizon Android phone. I forget the name of it. But this one is it's almost the same phone. It's just that the uh, all the circuitry would be for an Android is not engaged. Well, I tell you what, I do hope that uh, this helped with the phone, that you understand a little bit more about what's going on with it. Uh, this, you might see this one on the trackphone.com site. I don't think you will. I haven't seen it there. Uh, which I always go through eBay because I buy different kind of phones. Uh, like the LG 800, uh, the T404G, and all the phones that I have on uh, I show on YouTube here, I I buy those, and you can buy them too the same way, for four dollars and ninety nine cents. That's what that that's all they cost, and that gives you ten minutes of airtime, and most of them are remanufactured. This one is new, okay. That's why it's a little bit more, uh, but. Uh, it's a good phone. I really do think so. And I'm really happy with it. And it's really hard to please me. Because I get a phone and I use it. And I'm saying, golly, I wish this phone could do this. I wish it could do that. Why won't it do this? Why is it so hard to go through screens? And I got this one. And I'm saying to myself, I don't know. This one might just be the one. So the only problem that I've got with it, okay, and you might have it too, is when you go to pick this thing up, when it's when it's on, you know, your finger might slip, and it's just going to maybe change screens, and you don't even know it. And it's, you know, just kind of that way there, so you have to be careful. Let me show you how the, the lock works. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can set it up. And we're going to go into the memory, or into the uh, memory, into the icons here. And we're going to go to display settings. And you can change the display back by how long it stays on. It stays on for up to one minute. I wish it would stay longer than that. But it doesn't. Wallpaper, you can change. And what I'm looking for, okay, is not in this one here. So let me go back. We look under phone settings. There it is. Nope. Where would it be? I do this one all the time, too. Well, there's a spot on here. I need to find that. I apologize for this. settings. Oh, here we go. Touch settings. And you have right here the auto lock. Okay, it's on and it's off. When it's on, when the screen goes out after whatever time you have on there, it goes out. When it comes back on, 
it's going to look like that but your screen is locked for inadvertent you know key hit and whatever else to turn that lock off you just put your finger on it and just slide down and see that it unlocks the phone that way that's how a lot of the Android phones are and that again okay is just by touching that uh, on off button you know two times one and then again and see but you just slide it down and now it's unlocked I just wanted to show you that people ask that question how do I lock and unlock the phone so you've got that okay well I tell you what I uh, hit that 20 minute mark it's a long time I you know I like to talk a lot as everybody everybody knows but uh, I like to do these videos so that when you see them that you kind of understand a little bit more about how it works not just to have some kid holding it and jostling it around saying oh this is cool this is great oh I like it a lot my mommy bought it for me but I like to do it so you buying it okay you'll know a little bit more about the phone or if you're interested and you're looking at it saying do I really want to buy this or not this is a review of it so you can make up your mind if you want the phone or not so anyway this is the crew dog I'm glad I could show this to you I hope you all have a good day and this is the crew dog out